I'm so sick of the news that I can't take it anymore. I'm so sick of the news, I, I watch it and I'm like, hmm. hmm, they just burned down my neighbor's house and shot all their kitty cats in front of the neighbor kids. Hmm. What's for dinner, honey? I tried to look for something that would actually make me feel better. Hmm. And then I found it. Here it is. Fears that the end of the world is near have spread across the world as only 11 days remain on the Mayan calendar. Why am I bringing you this as good news? Well, because we're relentlessly mocked as crazy, preppers, doomsdayers, whatever. I mean, do I look crazy? I don't know a single soul who believes this Mayan thing. Not one person. Not one. I mean, if, if you don't know what it is, People have long been predicting that the end of the world is coming on December 21st, 2012, because the long count, 5,125 years in the Mayan calendar, ends on that day. Now, you say to yourself, the Mayan calendar ends in 11 days? It must mean the end of the world. It definitely couldn't be because they were bored, or ran out of sticks or leaves or rocks or dirt or whatever the hell they were writing their calendars on. It must be the only logical conclusion is that the world is going to come to an end. What's going to happen? Well, the exact nature of the apocalypse is unclear, but it could be anything from, quote, a catastrophic collision between Earth and the mythical planet Nibru, mythical planet, or we could just be annihilated by a giant solar storm. We're not really sure. Now, we went to that great documentary filmmaker, John Cusack. He came out with a really, 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 really scientifically accurate and yet stirring documentary about 2012. Oh, it was unbelievable. I, I think at the end he held up a boom box to try to stop the world from ending. I'm not really sure, but it was good. The Chinese have actually bought in to this movie, which I'm hearing tale this is not a documentary now. I'm being told this in my, yes, it's been confirmed, not an actual documentary. Who knew? The Chinese didn't know. They've been seduced by the plot line of the Chinese military building giant arcs in order to save humanity. There's now a run on candles in China because of the anticipated dark days ahead. I've got news for you, Chinese. No amount of candles are going to save us all from the darkness that is coming. In France, people are preparing to converge on a mountain where they believe they will be rescued by aliens. To prevent hysteria, France has actually banned UFO watchers in the area of that particular mountain. Oh, that should stop them. In Russia, there's a run on kerosene and supplies after an article published by a Tibetan monk confirmed the Mayan calendar did indeed spell the end of the world. See? See what I'm saying? So, unless you are currently headed to a remote mountainside in France with a box of candles and some kerosene to go get picked up by the spaceships, already you're feeling a little better about yourself right now, huh? Am I right? Of course I'm right. You can't be this handsome and be wrong. Not on television. Yes, yes, I'm telling you this story today to feel a little bit superior. Because, yes, there are, there are so few opportunities to mock those saying the end of the world is coming that I'm not currently supporting. So, when one comes up, I say, let the so-called doomsday expert here in America ease the fears of all the Mayan believers around the world. <laughs> Does your cat calendar mean the world's going to come to an end at the end of December? No, of course not. No. This one, this, this cat calendar goes on the last page. There's nothing after December. The kitty cats are telling us we're all going to die. No, 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 no. Here's the catch. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that the world is ending. It just means you need to get another calendar. But hang on. Before you feel too superior over the rest of the world, there is some bad news for American taxpayers. Of all of the things we could have spent our money on, like warmer climates for sea turtles, yes, 
Yes, over the weekend we did lift sea turtles, airlift them to Florida, because it was getting a little chilly for the turtles. All the money we could have spent making the Muslim world aware and proud of their many, many accomplishments and contributions to global advancement, like the big machete. NASA is actually aggressively, that's a quote, aggressively moving to debunk the end of the world claims. They are actually spending your hard-earned money and taking their time to address the people that are headed to the French countryside to be picked up by space aliens, trying to talk some sense into them. We're going to set up our Bell and Howell projector to take a look at this crucial video next, ladies. Come on.